Listen to them. Children of the night. What music they make. Hey guys, what's up? This is Ghost Space Reviews, I'm back with another video review as always. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Trick or Treat Studios Deluxe Papa Emeritus 2 mask. This mask is sculpted by Jason King, and as you guys know, Ghost are one of my favourite bands at the moment. Absolutely love them, and I'm a huge, huge fan of the imagery. Now, I've got a few Ghost masks to show you in future videos, but this one is one that I couldn't resist sharing first. Now, if you guys are aware, um, I did say a few videos back that I would be picking up the Papa Emeritus 2 costume, uh, the staff, which I've already reviewed for you guys, and the deluxe mask, which comes with the mitre. Now this here is the deluxe mask itself. You'll have seen it in the background of some of the videos, but it comes with the mitre, which is this hat on the top. And the standard version does not come with this but this is uh, sewn onto the mask, I believe. So it's a really, really cool mask. Um, it comes in at a price tag, I think it's of around $89.95, so it's a pretty expensive mask, but it's really, really worth it if you're a fan of Ghost. Now, like I was saying, this is Papa 2, um, and it comes from the Papa 2 cycle of the Ghost, um, if you want to call it catalog, of um, album cycles. So it's a really, really cool mask. Um, I'll show you guys some close-ups in a bit. And we'll discuss the mask in detail and also a modification I've done this mask so yeah uh, stick around guys and we'll review this in just a second all right guys so to film this review I've actually had to set the camera back a little further than usual uh, just due to the fact that the mitre of the mask makes it a lot lot taller than the standard version it's really really impressive when it's worn and um, I'll show you guys some worn shots at the end of the video and I'll also chuck on the costume at a later date and give you a full Papa Emeritus 2 um, costume video and show you how it looks with all the pieces of the costume such as the gloves, the uh, staff and the deluxe mask. But um, yeah, so we'll get straight into this one and like I was saying before, this mask is sculpted by Jason King over at Trick or Treat Studios and as always Trick or Treat Studios have done a brilliant, brilliant job with this mask. I think it makes the mask slightly unsettling is the fact that when it's worn you actually look as if you age quite a bit um, just due to the fact that it looks like face paint as opposed to a mask from a distance um, obviously up close you can tell that it's a mask but um, yeah like I said from a distance it makes you look a lot older and it's a very mean looking mask as well there's a lot of sculpted um, wrinkles in the mask as well giving it a very skin like appearance now the face paint and imagery that Ghost have always used has really, really reminded me of Misfits, the band, if anyone's heard of them. Um, they're one of my favourite bands as well, so I absolutely dig the imagery that Ghost have chosen to go with. Now this is a mask that has quite a long neck as well, so it covers your neck while you're wearing it, so you don't have to worry about skin showing, and this just tucks underneath the collar of the costume, which I'll show you guys in the full costume video. Now, the mitre on this mask has the embroidered Ghost Crucifix logo, which is really, really cool. And this, uh, these cloth parts also have the Crucifix logo printed onto the back of them, which I'll show you guys when I turn the mask around in just a second. But the mitre itself is pretty high quality. Um, it's soft, it's not actually latex or any type of other material like vinyl it's actually a full cloth piece which is really really cool that they added this but obviously bumped the price up um, but I'm really happy with it I think it's gonna look absolutely insane with the costume which I actually have to the left of me which I'm going to review at a later date for you guys here we have the ghost uh, officially licensed collection tag and then we have a picture of Papa himself now if you wanted to make this mask look like a different variation of it, you could add some weathering and just like little bits of dirt and grime to the mask and cut a mouth slit in it. But um, I'm not going to do that with this one. I may pick up the non-deluxe version and do that to that at some point, but I highly doubt I will for the time being. <clears throat> now what's cool is you can also get the Nameless Ghoul mask 
there's a resin version of it which is about 90 pounds and there's a latex version which is around 40 so i'm probably going to pick those up and review them for you guys as well and then just here you see the papa 2 deluxe tag and the trick or treat studios tag now for some of the modifications that you could do to this mask um, you could actually cut the ears out just here around um, here so I figured that they've given you the option to do that by putting them in. Now I understand why a lot of people would want to have the sculpted ears and wear it just like that because it's a lot easier and most people aren't really serious ghost collectors uh, which is fair enough. But if you wanted to go for super uh, stage accuracy with the Papa Emeritus mask you could cut the ears out because for those of you that aren't aware, Papa actually sticks his ears through the mask um, and his mask doesn't have sculpted ears at all. He actually sticks his real ones just through the hole there. So that's something that you could do to make it slightly more accurate um, by cutting the ears out. The other thing you could do is cut a slit in the mouth just for a bit more um, accuracy as well to the stage used mask. Just because Papa needed the mouth to be open obviously so he could sing. Um, and then I'll show you guys the one modification that I've done to this mask um, and that is I've actually adjusted the back of the mask using velcro just down here because I was finding that the neck of the mask was very very wide and it wouldn't sit properly and it looked quite strange on my neck when I was wearing it with the costume um, so what I did was I added velcro pieces to the bottom of this part and then the back of this part so it pulls the neck of the mask together so that it fits nicely and actually um, hugs my neckline. Um, I did it custom, uh, a custom job on it sorry, so that it would um, fit me personally. But obviously for other people it would be a different um, width and whatnot. So you can play with that. Um, if you guys would like to see a video on how to do that, um, be sure to let me know. And I'll make one for how to adjust um, this part of a mask, um, especially from Trick or Treat Studios. It works really well on Michael Myers masks. And I'm going to do it to the They Live one for a tutorial, if you guys would like to see that. So be sure to let me know in the comment section down below. Finally, moving on to the back of the mask, we've got the cloth drapes that I was telling you about. Uh, these have the Ghost Crucifix logo printed multiple times down them, which is actually on Papa's one too. I absolutely love this and it looks really, really cool. Um, when worn with the costume, it just adds up that extra flair to the mask and makes it look insane. Um, so I'm a huge, huge fan of that. And then here we've got the back of the mitre and what it looks like from the rear of the mask. And then that's pretty much it on the back of the mask, other than the modification that I did. Um, just there, you see the velcro just uh, peeking through. And then I think there's only one thing left to show you on this one, guys, and that is the Trick or Treat Studios logo. Uh, it just says sculpted by Jason King there. So, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed um, taking a look at this mask. Um, I'll be sure to post some worn shots of it in just a moment. But until then, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank mm -hmm. you.